I feel like I'm in a dance line. <laughs> dance, damn it, dance, dance. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Oh, My name is Mark LeBlanc. I run a speaking business based out of Minneapolis, and I conduct presentations, including my keynote speech, my signature keynote speech, Never Be the Same. And I create experiences for independent and practice professionals who want to create an extreme sliver of focus and put more money in their pocket as a business owner. And when I'm not speaking or coaching or working on my next book, I go on 500 mile walks. In fact, on May 30th, in just a few months, I can hardly wait. I will fly to Spain and walk the Camino de Santiago, the 500-mile pilgrimage, for the fourth time. Thank you. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a window into my world. In the late 1990s, there were a number of very smart men and women, business gurus, if you want to refer to them as business gurus, who were putting together these business boot camps. And they were expensive. They were $10,000, and they were three or four days, and they'd start at eight in the morning and go till midnight. And they were going to throw everything at you, and by the end of the weekend, your head would be spinning. Now, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it didn't connect to me, it didn't resonate with me, and I learned from my friend Joel Weldon, a 50-year legend in the speaking profession. He said, Mark, when everyone is going one way, what if you go the other way? And I started to play with a concept uh, that I now refer to as the anti-boot camp. <laughs> and on March 17th of 2000, at approximately 1 p.m., I don't remember exactly what time, but I I sat down after lunch and in the course of three hours I created the outline, the content, and the invitation for what would become my Achiever Circle anti-business weekend retreat. And I looked at the calendar and I plunked one down in April, May, and June. And I was scared to death and I took ten evaluations from people that I did not know who had given me favorable reviews in some of my workshops, and I stood by the fax machine, <laughs> and I sent, I whispered a little prayer in the wind, I faxed these 10 individuals, and within 24 hours, two people had registered for one of the three achiever circles. And I thought, oh, I, I, I like that. <laughs> I faxed 10 more, I made 10 uh, business calls, and those three weekends were nearly full. I want you to know that if you have a program, product, presentation, and service, if it is good, if it is good, it will get better if you hang on to it. In two weeks, I will do my 148th anti. May I present to you several of my friends who will share some thoughts with you about that. Yes. In 2004, a speaker pal who I really admired told me to run and not walk to Mark's Achiever Circle weekend. So I did, and it completely transformed my life and my business. Mark has been my coach ever since then. That's a long time. And let me tell you, his encouragement and his belief, not to mention the tools that he has taught me, have kept me powering forward and allowed me to grow a truly successful coaching and speaking business that I'm really proud of. I actually just attended my fourth Achiever Circle weekend in November. In November. And yet again, I was blown away with how no Achiever Circle weekends are ever the same. And, and how Mark always finds a way to provide something new for me to learn and use and something old for me to remember. Good job. Give her a hand. <laughs> 
Fourth Camino, I hope you find your car keys this time, Mark. I know that <laughs> I had been to Australia. I'd spoken once there and had received a fee of almost $10,000. I was just elated, and I ended up staying for three weeks uh, on holiday. I did the program, stayed three weeks, and at the end of the year, I was telling Mark, I said, I've had my best year yet. And I said, and yet, I don't hardly have any money in the bank. And he said, when you went to Australia, how many times, you know, we talked about how many times, he said, when you went there, and I said, I made $10,000, by the way, I made $10,000. He goes, how much did you spend on the whole the rest of the time you are there, how much you spent? I said, I don't know. It's a write-off. <laughs> <laughs> and he got real serious, which, and he looked me right in the eye, and he said, Tim, for every dollar you don't spend, you get to keep it. <laughs> and my business world. I know the speaking business. I did not know the business world until I met Mark. It has been my privilege to know him, to know that when something happens in my world where I've made a mistake, and I have made a few, Mark will do anything it takes to make sure that we get it taken care of as fast, as expeditiously as possible. And I think that more than anything else, it does my heart good that whenever I do have a success and I'm celebrating, I talk to Mark and it's, it's so satisfying to talk to somebody who's even more excited than I am over that success. I highly recommend it. Thank you. I met Mark at a National Speakers Association in February of 2013 and brought him in to speak at the Tennessee chapter. I was president at the time. And I said, I want to hire you for one of those one hour pinpoint sessions. He sat across from me and he looked at me and he said, how can I help? I don't remember everything that I told him in that hour, but I remember the first th thing that I told him. Mark, I wake up every day in a bowl full of crap and it's time for me to get out of the bowl. And at the time, I didn't know how he would help me. And, you know, I don't always take the easy path. I didn't start with the Achiever Circle. I started, I was like, what's the, what's the highest level program you got? Because that's what it's going to take <laughs> to get all of this in order. <laughs> he has become a, a dear, dear friend, like a brother. I am now, I'm, I'm doing more of the work that I love I climbed out of that bowl of crap. Um, I went from the highest level program, then I went to his highest level retreat program, and then I went to the Achiever Circle. I'm left-handed, so I just do everything the opposite way. <laughs> Every single experience I've had, I come away with better plans, more focus, and Mark has taught me how to get out of my own way. I appreciate Mark LeBlanc, and I love him. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So when Mark says anti-boot camp, he means anti-boot camp. Uh, 20 years ago, and we were going around the table talking about the one thing that we had done in our businesses in the last 12 months that had make the biggest difference. And the woman next to me, don't remember who she was, but I remember she raved about Mark, this man and the Achiever Circle that she said it was the best thing I did. So I decide, all right, I'm going to go. So I go to La Jolla, I show up, um, I walk into this very unassuming room, um, I meet Mark LeBlanc for the first time, I say, well gosh, it's great to be here, where should we sit? He said, pick anywhere, anywhere you want. And I said, great, are there some handouts? Or, no, no handouts. I said, okay, well an agenda? No, no agenda. I said, okay. So I sit down, there's no screen, there's no PowerPoint, there's, there's a flip chart and Mark LeBlanc's brilliance and what shows up in that room. And he will take you through nine best practices that will forever change the direction of your business. So if you're tired of chasing squirrels and being in the bowl, I would say get yourself quickly to the next Achiever Circle. Thank you. So I will fully admit, and Mark knows this, that I did not want to go to an Achiever Circle. Uh, my mom met Mark LeBlanc at Jumpstart last year, and she's like, we have to do this. We have to sign up for this Achiever Circle. It's going to be so great. And I'm like, oh, okay, mom, sure, whatever. I guess I'll go. And so, you know, it was, it was in May in Minneapolis, and it was the first 70-degree weekend of 
the year for probably the you know nine months prior which if you grow up in the north or you're in the north you know that's a huge deal so I really did not want to go um, my mom dragged me there I was like all right fine fine I'll go I'll try it out and so I get there I set up my laptop fully expecting to like check my email and check Facebook and not pay attention like a typical millennial and about 30 minutes in put my laptop down put it away put my phone away take out my legal pad and I just start writing like crazy and I filled up that entire notepad within a, the span of the weekend which I have not done I've not taken that many notes since I studied for the bar exam about 12 years prior it was incredible I learned I laugh I cried and I don't mean like tears I mean like ugly cried on the last day and Jeff and Vanessa and Kevin wherever you are can completely attest to this um, it was incredible and it completely changed my business and prior to doing Achiever Circle I had you know doubled every year that was my goal I would double my business every year and I, I run a law practice in case you don't know and the end of this year I quadrupled my business so and I tell Mark I'm like you know let's I, I need to, I need more I need more and so we do um, quarterly meetings I need my mark fix so it's it's incredible so yeah I got nothing uh, no. <laughs> it's San Diego it's uh, 1984 I'm in a grocery store I meet my wife it was the best day of my life I'm in San Diego. It's 1995. I'm in an NSA meeting. I meet Mark LeBlanc. It's the second best day of my life. <laughs> I know this sounds a little hyperbolic, but Mark knew something about me then that I didn't know about myself. He believed I could make a living speaking and make a difference. Okay, so fast forward to 2018. I get a phone call from Mark. Mark says, I know how you can make a difference. I've been thinking about you. I said, for 23 years? <laughs> well, some might just take longer than others. <laughs> he said... He said, the dental speaking industry needs what you do. You should blank, I blank. <laughs> so I came to Jumpstart 2019, and Mark, I've been talking to Mark, and he's in the middle of a sentence, and then it trails off, and he gets that far away. should I'll be there. So I went, and I was already making a living, already making a difference, but I got additional focus. I got Yeah, we're in our own little world in our offices, and it's like, you know, you get a little note 